In the shadow of Croke Park and on its surrounding streets, support for the dubs is clear. Even the homes around here are blue. <laughs> on the well-trodden Clonliffe Road, there's more bunting going up. The women from the Ballybock Ga for Maz are tied up in knots. They're expecting a tough game on Sunday, but are predicting Sam's return. Can't wait. I think it's going to be a great game. Dublin Kerry's always a great game. You know, there's great rivalry between the two teams, like, you know, and I think so far they've been two of the best teams. So I think it's going to be, no matter what the results, it's going to be epic. I'm saying 117 to 114 to the Dubs. Up the Dubs. Up the Dubs. <laughs> Up the road in Glasnevin, the kids at Nafina are getting ready. The club is home to, among others, the current Dublin manager. They've got his back and are predicting a Dublin win, a thrashing even. Um, Dublin are going to win by a lot. <laughs> uh, Dublin's going to win in the, by like 15 points. 15 points. Yes. Uh, the women are going to win uh, three goals, 17 points to one goal, six points. But there's a wariness here too, this astute analysis capturing the fear of many dubs. Uh, I think Kerry's going to win. <laughs> but they won way more, but I, I, I want Dublin to win. So you think Kerry's going to win? But I want Dublin to win. Okay, and why do you think Kerry's going to win? Because David Clifford. Ah yes, David Clifford, this former Dublin defender used to tackle that particular problem. He's a handful no doubt, but he says Dublin have the squad to prevail. Yes, uh, massive rivalry. I think it's close. I think when you map out the two 15s and the, the, the players that might come on, uh, I think it's going to be really close. I think it's going to come down to a couple of decisions and a couple of plays here and there, uh, to be fair. Um, I'm absolutely biased, uh, subconsciously, constantly, in every other way, backing the lads, the, the Dublin lads to do it, and I think they might do it. As the True Blues get set, the question now is, who will be shouting the loudest come Sunday evening? Connor Hunt, RTE News, 